Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine, how I remove my makeup and cleanse my skin, and the things that I put on my skin before bed. So I have my makeup on from the day. I'm about to go shower, but in the shower I use the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil, and I absolutely love this oil for removing my makeup, including my eye makeup, because it doesn't make my eyes sting. It's really gentle on the skin, and because it is an oil, it is a really nice and smooth on the skin it doesn't strip your skin of its natural oils and it leaves it feeling really moisturized and hydrated but it's obviously just taking off your makeup so I like it a lot of makeup removers either sting my skin or they pull at my eyes if it's a makeup wipe so this is my favorite makeup remover next for cleanser I've been using the glow recipe blueberry bounce gentle cleanser I recently just got this from Sephora I used to use the first aid beauty foaming cleanser which I really liked but I've been using that for so long so I wanted to try something new and I I've really been loving Glow Recipe products, so I decided to try their new blueberry cleanser, which I know this has only been out for like a few months, so I was really excited to try it. It smells absolutely amazing, and I just really like this so far. It leaves my skin feeling really nice and hydrated. It is a Korean skincare brand, so it is really good at like hydrating and just being really clean on the skin, so I really have enjoyed this. I've only used it a few times, but I mean, it is a cleanser and I'm not too picky about cleansers or anything. So I'm gonna go get in the shower, remove my makeup, cleanse my face, brush my teeth, wash my hair, everything like that. And I will be coming back to you guys once I have gotten out of the shower to finish up the skincare, moisturize, put on oils, everything like that. So as you guys can see, my face is clean and I'm out of the shower and everything and I'm ready for the rest of my skincare. So the first thing I usually do is put on a little bit of Mario Badescu spray just to kind of add some hydration to my face because obviously I was just in a hot shower which is kind of drying on the skin. So I just like to spritz a little bit of this on and also just feels really good. Just spritz myself with that really fast. And this is the Orange Blossom Aloe and Sage one. It's like this cool little orange one that I got from Ulta. Depending on what my skin looks and feels like, it can go a couple of different routes. Um, right now, to be honest, my skin is feeling kind of dehydrated, so I'm going to go for a thicker moisturizer rather than like a thinner one, if that makes sense. But first, I'm going to be using my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is just a nice little serum that I like to put on my face and just pat into my skin. I just put a few drops in my hand and I just kind of pat it right into my skin. I try not to rub because I just feel like patting serums in is just more... Like it helps it sink in better. I also just put any excess of like any product on my neck as well. I just started using this, but basically it just helps rejuvenate your skin, makes it look brighter. Um, it has like anti-aging properties and just overall is a really good little serum to put on your face before bed. Next, I moisturize and tonight I'm going to be using the glow recipe avocado melt sleeping mask this is probably the thickest moisturizer I own I also have the glow recipe watermelon sleeping mask but that's a really thin little consistency skin is more on the hydrated side like I already did like a face mask or it's just kind of feeling hydrated I will typically use that as my moisturizer for the night but since my skin is kind of dry tonight just because like I was wearing makeup all day and I don't know I can just tell when my skin needs a little bit of hydration, so I'm putting this on because this is like the thickest moisturizer I own. And again, just putting any excess on my neck. And that just feels so good right over the serum. They kind of just blend together. And Glow Recipe is also an amazing skincare brand that really helps like clear up your skin and brighten and hydrate. and do all of those wonderful skincare things. Now, I do not have any active breakouts. The light's kind of like washing out my skin, but I don't have any active breakouts as of right now. Like, 
no pimples, no zits or anything, but if I did have a breakout coming or one on my face, I would use the Mario Badescu Drawing Lotion. This is my favorite thing to use. I just put it on a Q-tip and dab it right over where there's a pimple coming in or I have a pimple and it dries it right up, but currently my face is smooth and I have no pimples or anything so I'm not going to be using that but I just put it on and then it washes right off in the morning but next I'm going to be using my Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream I just take this just a tiny bit put it on my fourth fingers and just pat that underneath my eyes I don't have terrible under eye bags but it's just nice to keep this area hydrated and last but not least i will be using the laneige lip sleeping mask this is the watermelon one i believe and this is honestly the thickest lip mask in existence it feels so nice it's so hydrating i really only use this at night because it is really thick and also i just don't really like using potted lip products like during the day just because like your hands get dirty and it's just unsanitary so I typically really only use this once a day at night um, and it's so nice like even if your lips aren't trapped it just makes them feel so nice and now I look very oily but I'm not I'm just hydrated so just so you can see up close my skin um, my eyes still look like they have makeup on them but they don't <laughs> So this is my skin. Like I said, I do not have any active breakouts right now. I do have a few places where I have like a little bit of discoloration from old acne scars, but that's why I use the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery to help clear that up. And I also use the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum to help with that hyperpigmentation. But obviously with stuff like that, you have to keep applying the products for it to go away for good. But honestly, it's not like bad looking. Like, you know, just a little bit concealer every day covers it up. This is my forehead, it's pretty clear. Like I said, I just have like a few little, you know, spots, but there is no like acne or anything on my skin. It's pretty clear. But this is basically my everyday and night skincare routine. Um, I just wanted to bring you close because I feel like the light's kind of washing me out and making it look like I have nothing on my skin, but obviously I do. But that was my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have every single product that I mentioned linked down below. Um, like I said, I typically use these products, but depending on if my skin's kind of feeling more dry or not so dry, will depend on what moisturizer I use. And sometimes I won't use certain products if like my skin's not having that problem for the day, if that makes sense. So yeah, but tonight I think my skin needed a lot of hydration. I hope you guys enjoyed this little nighttime skincare routine. I'll have all the products linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.